Here's one animal, boys and girls, that you better not play around with. You'll get stuck. He's the porcupine. He's full of needles. Yes, he is. If you go from California to New York, yes, no matter where you go, you hear them talk. Visit any zoo someday, this is what you'll hear them say. Oh, the porcupine is pining for his pork. If you ask an Irishman from County Cork, when he's just about to take a little walk, since he's very sure of it, you will hear him soon admit that the porcupine is pining for his pork. In Nebraska and Alaska, many rumors grow. In Kentucky, folks are lucky cause they seem to know that the reason every season is so very fine is because they really like the porcupine. When you have a conversation with a stork, if you talk of porcupines, he'll never squawk. But the thing he will confess is what all the others guess, that the porcupine is pining for his pork. When the porcupine is pining for his pork, he reveals this feeling to each chicken hawk. There is something in his eye that explains the reason why every porcupine is pining for his pork. Even children writing on their slates with chalk, even flowers spread the word from stalk to stalk. So no matter where you go, everybody seems to know that the porcupine is pining for his pork. If you go to North Dakota, it's the latest news. Take a boat to Minnesota, it's the greatest news. Both the sexes down in Texas talk of it all day. They discuss it all year round from June to May. Oh, he's so embarrassed, he acts like a gawk. On this matter, he would like to put a cork. He keeps saying, won't you hush? All this talk just makes me blush when the porcupine is pining for his pork.